I said I would watch another one of these if the last one got 100 likes, and it did. So, um, <laughs> hope you're ready for this. Husband accidentally puts habanero spice up wifey's. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I cringe at myself. Don't worry. You don't need to do it for me. I was reading this magazine and I saw an article about a vajayshul. As soon as I saw how easy it was to do, I was like, yes, I've got to do this. This is going to be phenomenal. Oh, did you say a vajayshul? Like a, like a pussy facial? <laughs> Okay. So Josh walks into the kitchen. I just want my coffee. Oh! You can... That embarrassing. What on earth <laughs> are you doing? Well, I was trying to surprise you. What, with a hot pocket? <laughs> she was warming it up for him. With a rejuvenated yaya. Yeah, yeah. And the first step was steaming. This craziness was all for me. I have. <laughs> all that craziness is for you, dude, because no one else wants it. It's hot. It's nice. I could feel the burning from- <laughs> It's nice. And the steam, but I just thought that meant it was working. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, man, these reenactments always kill me, man. The man that I married tried to take a bite of it. Just a little dab of it, nothing big. It's lotion. You don't eat lotion. <laughs> Dude, these people are geniuses. I hope they never procreate because what they would make would- <laughs> Probably try to eat lotion and steam their vagina. <laughs> Can I be your vajayshalist? <laughs> that was smooth. That was smooth as fuck. You know, we have 15 minutes. How shall we pass the time? Dude, I want to die. <laughs> like, how do you act this bad? Honestly, like... I can't do it. Or ruled out any kind of allergies. And I mean, what if it is more serious? What about Josh's fingers? What? <laughs> He's got spicy sausage fingers. Why, it's not my fault. Well, I'm so happy for you. I didn't care whose fault it was. I, I'm just like, not trying to give fashion advice out here, but if you have that much red hair on your face and head, probably shouldn't wear a tomato shirt. I just wanted the pain to stop. <sighs> do we have to know the cause? Without knowing the... <laughs> This is getting intense. Oh. Real cause. We don't know the right treatment. I mean, are we ever going to be able to have sex again? No. Ever? We never. just have really... You guys probably shouldn't anyways. Like, you, you probably just shouldn't. He mixed the ingredients in a bowl from the drying rack. And then he... <laughs> this is like a face where he's like, fuck me. <laughs> he knows. I have to tell you something. So you know I always make chili for potluck Fridays at work? Oh, no. Where is this going? I used habanero peppers. They were in your vajayshul bowl, which I might not have washed off. <laughs> okay. All that well. Tell him what you did to me, honey. I mean, you did it to yourself, honestly. You should, like, if you're gonna steam your vagina with a... I can't even say it. If you're gonna do what you did, you should actually probably know that he wasn't gonna wash the bowl out. I mean, that's a notorious, just a... Oh, dude move is being bad at washing things. I can't really blame the guy here. Well, it's, it's pretty obvious that you didn't. What was it doing in the drawing rack then? I was watching the game, not paying attention. This is great news. What, that I married an idiot? That we know what happened. Why is she so mad? She's the one who tried to steam her clam. Uh, really hot, painful bowel movements. I'm kind of in the mood for chili. Anybody, anybody else? And it causes this really intense burning pain. The solution to Amber's problem was in your refrigerator all along. As soon as I came- She's gonna have to have sex with a cucumber. <laughs> She's gonna pickle it. Buy as much whole milk as you can from the cafeteria and bring it back to me stat. She's gonna pussy chug milk. <laughs> they give me a full-blown milk bath. Like, I- I wanna get milked. I mean, I want- no, I meant that. I am submerged in milk. If you try, to, if you try to steam your asshole because you watch this video, I'm not responsible for you at that point. Milk really does do a body good. Oh, that was a lot to handle right there. <laughs> I think I need to breathe. Note to self, if I ever shove chilies up my vajayjay, just go ahead and douche it out with milk. <laughs> yes, yes, Fitz. It's exactly what you do. Prison penis tattoo gives man five day erection. Prison. All right, we got one vote prison. Prison it is, okay. You guys asked for this. His Dow Jones is up and it has not gone down yet. 
His Dell Jones, okay. Wait, he still has the erection? <laughs> he's, he's hiding it pretty well. Was he tucking it in his jumpsuit? Um, uh, excuse me. Can my husband get some medical attention here? He's not going to lose his penis while you two are flirting. <laughs> Dude, is he like an old mob boss or something? Like, he looks like an old mob boss because she has way too much plastic surgery to, to not have that mob money. How long have you had the erection? A while, I guess. Wow, it's very specific. We're we talking about a number of hours here. Um, five days. Five days. Doesn't the thing on the back of the box say like consult your doctor after like 48 hours or something? Five days. She's impressed, dude. She's she kind of wants on it. He's probably getting dizzy because there's no blood up here. It's all down there. Pretty fast. Why did you wait so long to come in? You don't brag about a five-day erection in prison. I understand that, but you... Yeah, he's in jail and he's been walking around with an erection for five days. <laughs> I think there might just be some cute boys in the yard. <laughs> Why do I keep watching videos about people damaging their, their testicles and penises? <laughs> it's not good. It doesn't feel good for me to watch. What happened? Were you in a fight? <laughs> Were you in a fight? <laughs> Why would a fight cause a five-day erection? Um... <laughs> No, he can change into the gown, but then he has to be shackled immediately afterwards. At this point, I was thinking, imagine if he escaped. He escapes the hospital in a gown with a fucking boner, just running down the street with his cellmate, and was trying to figure out how he could show his love for his wife. Before Oh no. Before she got there for their conjugal visit. This device with a paper clip and a broken pen. And I'm thinking, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, it's one thing doing like sketchy prison tattoos on like your arm. But it's another thing doing it on such a sensitive area. I was tattooing my name on his penis. <laughs> how flattered she is. Oh. Do you know how sensitive that area is? Do you? I mean, you're the one who thought that was a good idea. Regine is usually the adventurous one. I wanted to wow her. <laughs> so you're in jail, and your wife's come is coming to visit you in jail. So you're like, I'm just gonna get m her name tattooed on my dick. That's love. Well, you don't get enough oxygen. You don't get enough nutrients to those cells. Worst case scenario, his penis is gonna die. His penis could die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Tattoos are Knew permanent, it. and so might be the damage to his penis. Only a specialist can take blood from the penis, which is why we need it. Imagine being a specialist that draws penis blood. Yeah, you're pretty much just a dick vampire. Too much blood is flowing into the penis, but not enough blood is flowing out. My dick's full of blood! So, I assume this happened during the tattooing process. What a genius. How did he really put those dots together? I turn an ultrasound to see what went wrong and caused the priapism. In between the penis's arteries and the penis's veins, I'm learning way too much about penises. So like, if his buddy was tattooing his dick, did he have to like hold it while he tattooed it? And did, if you tattoo a dick, does it have to be, does it have to be hard? Because <laughs> otherwise it wouldn't make sense. Like, if you tattoo it soft and then it gets bigger, it would like stretch the letters out. Okay. I, I don't think I even want the answers to these questions. Him and his wife elect not to do it. This way you'll be ready when I come visit. <laughs> He's always gonna be ready. Your tattoo. I'm gonna wait till I get out and have a pro do it. But I'm not looking forward to doing time like this. <laughs> Don't worry, Chappie. We'll get you a bag of your jumpsuit. It may seem a strange choice. Is that like a <laughs> little knockoff Terry Crews too? Moral of the story, don't tattoo your dick in prison.